today is National Kids and Pets Day. It's a day dedicated to choosing the right pet for your family and your child. Jorge Ortega is the Animal Services Director in Guilford County. Here with us now to talk about choosing the right pet for your family, especially if you have kids. Thank you for joining yeah, us. Oh, thank morning. you for having me. So what are some of the biggest things that people should keep in mind when choosing a pet? Because it's, it's an exciting process and people get wrapped up in that excitement. That, that's, that's a $10 million question. Um, it really depends on the family, the family dynamic. It really depends on the age of the children in the household and what type of pet you're looking for. Because you know, pets are not just dogs and cats. We have hamsters and gerbils and you know, so forth. So I think you really have to consider: is are we as a family ready for pets? And are our children living in the house? Are they ready? for the commitment of having a pet in the house. And so let's say you meet those requirements, we're ready, we have the time commitment, yeah. we're gonna do it. Is there something that people should keep in mind when it comes to maybe the age of the kids and the age of the pets? Are certain ages of pets better for certain families? Yeah, I think the most important thing is not to rush into a decision of just getting a pet, whichever pet that may be. I think it's really, I think sometimes the best thing is to foster. Like if it is a dog you're interested in, foster and foster is no commitment um, you can bring a foster dog into the family and see how everyone works and see how your children act or react and how the animals adjust or, or in the children adjust so there's there's things you can do but I think the biggest thing I want everyone to know is that don't rush into a decision of adding a pet to your family absolutely I know it's like mommy daddy I want the puppy yeah. and it gets really exciting so I, is that something that you would recommend you know coming to meet the animals and really spending that time and then maybe taking a step back to have a family conversation about it yeah the way we're doing our adoption process today at, at Guilford County and a lot of organizations do it's it's really like a counseling a dialogue a conversation with the family we really encourage the entire family to meet that new pet uh, just to make sure everyone gets along no one's scared how the the pet reacts to the family especially the children so yes definitely it's a process you don't want to rush into and after you meet the pet and everybody's in agreement yes we want to add the pet is take 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 10 minutes and have a family huddle just to make sure everybody's on the same page and you mentioned other options besides dogs and cats that might be a good way for somebody to keep those options in mind as well correct and it's a good easy way or an easier way to start I mean having pets really teach children empathy compassion responsibility um, so you might want to take small steps into just getting a larger pet um, so yeah so there's options out there it's just uh, it's not a decision that should be taken on just really quick no yeah. puppy training is no no small feat so definitely <laughs> yeah. something that should be yeah. weighed weighed heavily yeah. for people who are ready they meet all the requirements how can they adopt yeah so there's a lot of our you know animal adoption organizations within the triad area I would definitely Take your time, visit all of them, uh, call, set up appointments, see if they have an appointment-based uh, adoption process. Um, but really just look around and really try to figure out which pet really will suit you and especially your children in the household. Um, but definitely call around. There's a lot of you know small nonprofit organizations that have wonderful pets available for adoption. So definitely it's not just the larger shelters, but there's a lot of us out there that have animals available for or waiting for new homes. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, a lot to keep in mind, a lot of good points. So thank you so yeah. much for being with us no, this morning. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.